Well, the next pit stop here at the Concours de Elegance is just down the path, and I can already hear that big block roaring from Ron Mods 1969 Oldsmobile 442 Hearst Edition. We got to go check it out. Well, this was a special edition of the 442. Uh, it was actually a second year for that in 68 with the first Hearst Olds. And then in, this is a second year model in 69. It was a collaboration between Oldsmobile Division of General Motors and Hearst Performance, the people that made the four speed shifters and uh, a lot of other performance things. And uh, the HO actually stands for. Uh, there was no real name for it. It's high output, I've heard, and also Hearst Old, so you can look at it either way. So originally, the meaning of 442, when Oldsmobile came out with these cars, was four barrel, four speed, dual exhaust. But the 455 was very special. GM had a, a ban on anything over 400 cubic inches in their intermediate cars, the, the A-body cars, at that time, and they slipped specially prepared Toronado 455s into these cars. And they had a lot of special internal parts to high lift cam, special carburetor, select fit pistons, and, and so forth. And it also has a very special transmission in it too. From this side, you're seeing one of the unique features with this car that only the Hearst Olds got were these 15 inch chrome super stock wheels. Uh, only the Hearst Olds got that. The other uh, Oldsmobiles had a 14-inch wheel. And, uh, of course, this was one of the first years for the Goodyear polyglass tires, which in their day was the highest performance tire you could get. Another interesting feature here is the rear wing, which was part of this package. That was actually designed by a Cessna engineer, and it creates downforce to keep the car, because you have to be going 100 plus miles an hour, but that's what the, uh, the reasoning was for that and how it was shaped and, and made. The paint, as you can see, was also special for just the Hearst Olds. The only way you got these was white with the Fire Frost gold stripes. Everybody's fascinated with this window sticker and think, wow, can you buy this car for only that kind of money? But that was a lot of money in 1969, $5,100. And then they added the uh, Hearst package to that on the second sticker. $683.94. Yeah, this car was pretty well loaded. This, uh, of the 912 that they made this year, Less than 300 of them had factory air conditioning, and this was one of those. Those racing mirrors, by the way, were made in England, and Hearst imported them here to the States. And the only other car that got those was another collaboration they did with AMC. They made a car called the SC Rambler, or the Scrambler. You might remember those, red, white, and blue, Hearst, and yeah. uh, they had those mirrors too, but that was also <laughs> another Hearst thing. Ron, okay, I guess we're at that point where I gotta hear this thing crank up. I wanna hear that exhaust note. Okay. Can I get you to crank it I over? think we can do that. All yeah, right. you can watch the gas gauge go down too <laughs> while we're doing that. Ron has one mean machine and that's 69 Olds. If you see him on the street, please do not try to drag race him. You'll be sorely disappointed. Well, it's time for our first quick break, folks. But after that break, we'll continue our journey here at the Concours d'Elegance. So don't go anywhere.